If you're looking for popular and touristic destinations in Italy, this is not the right video for you. Indeed, today I will present one of Italy's most authentic and rough destinations, the region of Basilicata in the south of Italy. This is Italy by Italians. Subscribe to our channel to plan all your holidays in Italy. And now, let's see all the top attractions of this unknown land that is called Basilicata. important city of Basilicata and the most visited spot of the region. It is the oldest city in Italy as people started living here in 7000 before Christ. This fact also makes it the third oldest city in the world after Aleppo and Jericho in Syria and Palestine. The main attraction here is the Sassi, ancient cave dwellings inside the tough rocks that were inhabited until the 1950s. It's a complex labyrinth of alleys and shops that brings you back to more ancient times. If you're curious to know more about Matera, you'll find in the description below uh, the link to another video we shot here. Basilicata is blessed with a wonderful seaside on two different seas the Tyrrhenian Sea on the west coast and the Ionian Sea on the south coast. The most beautiful coastal town of Basilicata is Maratea, a village that the ancient Greeks called the goddess of the sea for its amazing blue waters. The symbol of Maratea is the gigantic statue of Jesus Christ the Redeemer, the largest in the world after Rio de Janeiro. I am bathing in the waters of Metaponto, a little city with an important past. Here you can visit the archaeological park with ruins from the 6th century before Christ when Metaponto was a Greek colony. The beauty is that you can enjoy these fantastic archaeological treasures by yourself. There's no one around. Basilicata has some fantastic borghi to offer. If you don't know already, Borghi are traditional Italian villages but have stayed pretty much the same for centuries. The road to this Borghi is kind of difficult but the view is pretty amazing. The ones we suggest to visit are 30 minutes apart from each other, Pietra Pertosa and Castel Mezzano. We are in Pietra Pertosa and we are trying to reach the castle, the Arabic castle that was built in 838. Uh, it's just that I, I don't know if we'll ever reach it because it's really steep. <laughs> Pietra Pertosa is nestled on the Basilicata Dolomites, the highest and precious mountains of the region. From the castle, you'll see this wonderful panorama. We are entering the historical Arabic neighborhood because Pietra Pertosa was founded by Arabs. Another fantastic borgo to visit is Castel Mezzano. That's that one you see over there. There is a rather unusual means of transport that connects the borgo Pietra Pertosa with Castel Mezzano, and it's the zip line Volo dell'Angelo, Angel Flight. I'm a chicken when it comes to heights, so I didn't have the courage to try it, but we can show you what the experience looks like. Impressive, isn't it? You are hung by a thread at more than 1,000 meters high and you reach the speed of 120 kilometers per hour. Awesome! The little city of Krakow is one of the best examples of Italian ghost towns. It was inhabited until 1963, when a landslide caused the evacuation of many of its citizens. Ten years later, a catastrophic flood prevented people from returning to their houses, and finally, in 1980, an earthquake marked the official abandonment of the town. 
Today, it's pretty much as it was left by its inhabitants and it can be visited only with a guided tour with safety helmets. So what do you think of Basilicata region? Do you like remote destinations or do you prefer more crowded places? Let me know your opinions in the comments.